Hello YouTube, welcome back. This is episode 34 of Cryptbeard17. I checked. So, uh, oh, oh, look at that. I'm on the ball today. This intro is looking good already. But that little self-congratulatory pat on the back probably ruined it a bit, didn't it? Oh well, let's let the fortress speak for itself. What are we doing? What are we doing? Now, I've said in all of my little posts where I'm saying I'm going live that uh, I'm thinking of focusing on the metal industry today, which seems like a good thing, but there's a, a tiny little nagging doubt at the back of my mind saying something was happening at the end of last session. You were doing something, but I'm damned if I can remember what it was. Damned if I can. <clears throat> Still, if anyone watching knows, feel free to pipe up. Um, <laughs> you may well remind me of what was going on. So here's our metal zone. We've got three little furnaces here. Uh, furnaces? Magma forges. Uh, we've got a magma smelter here and a magma smelter here. But are two magma smelters enough to keep up with the demand for steel bars? Hmm. Let's have a little look at the stocks and see what's going on there. <clears throat> uh, e S T E L, as anyone who knows or is in the know can see, we're doing the old uh, chain leggings exploit, taking all of our steel and crafting it into beautiful sets of finely woven linked mail trousers. <clears throat> very useful as armour, and uh, also very useful as a way of not only levelling up your forge people, forge people, um, blacksmiths. Armourers? Whatever. Not only a useful way of levelling them up, but also it's a useful way of apparently creating more steel bars. And looking at the number we have, and the number of chain leggings we have, I can only believe that that is the case. I think that's the case. I think we are actually ending up with more bars of steel than we had in the beginning. Because we had 39 bars of steel, and I'm fairly sure <clears throat> that's not enough to make this many pairs of leggings. So, with that in mind, I'm thinking... I might change the orders, because we're starting to see masterful leggings appearing. And of course, we can't melt masterful leggings. No matter how hard I hold down the shift key and spam M, they are never going to get designated for melting, because apparently dwarves have a thing about that kind of stuff. Please excuse me while I take a sip out of my cup. Hello, Nunchaku Chaku. Oh, hi. Hey, doggy doggy. Not you, obviously. That's a meme, just in case we are massively at crossed purposes here. But <laughs> I, th I think we're all right. I mean... I didn't hit her, did you? Oh my god, this is getting too bad. Uh, so where were we? We were checking out our stocks. I'm thinking it's time to stop making orders for chain leggings and just put in an order for uh, enough to kit out our guys and start spreading the steel around in different forms. Because uh, if we just make chain leggings, we're going to get attacked. All of our lads are going to run out there wearing nothing but a pair of leggings, which frankly, is not what I would call combat ready, no matter what Games Workshop tells us with their range of Slayer models, which are now called something else. What have they done to dwarves? I've been, people have been, like, a, a group of people I know are playing quite regularly now, and they're all, they're, they're all nuts deep in the hobby. And I was a big fan back in the 90s. I just sort of drifted away through, you know, life stuff. This isn't interesting to anybody who likes Dwarf Fortress, but I'm going to tell it anyway. And they've been saying, oh, come on, join us, join us, do something, do something. So I dug out a load of old models from my parents' loft, or attic, if you prefer, if you're in a country that calls it that. And, um, yeah, I've just got nothing but a big old box of dwarves. So I had a little look at what they've got going on. And, uh, well, turns out <laughs> they've changed everything and made it all a bit... Ugh. So there you go. Sorry, that was an absolutely pointless, unnecessary little side thing there. I, I should get back into the game, shouldn't I? Is there any way, does anybody watching know, for me to actually set up an auto-melt order? Can I say, take all of the leggings, and if they ain't masterful, melt them? Because looking at it, we've got seven pairs of masterful leggings there, which is pretty good. How, do, how does the um, quality of armour work? Does it actually make it more effective? <clears throat> or does it merely increase the value? Inquiring minds wish to know. Well, I say inquiring minds. I only have one mind, so uh, inquiring mind wishes to know. You can do an auto-repeat right at the forge. Hmm. And can I make that condition? Can I make that conditional? Let's go to the forge and have a little look. Uh, avenue bars, melt a metal object. See, that's just, we've got a general order to melt metal objects that have been designated, but can we go to the workshop profile? Is that how it works? I believe that a better craft grants better armor class. Well, 
I hope that's the case, then, Chaku Chaku. Otherwise, I will be holding you personally responsible, hunting you down no matter what the cost, and uh, destroying you. Well, maybe not killing you, but destroying you nonetheless. <laughs> of course, I'm being facetious. I intend to do no such thing. Uh, so, what have we got here? Permitted workers. Uh, okay, so anybody can work in this forge. I don't think that's the best bet. <clears throat> I think what we want to do is assign it... Oh, no. Only Anubis can work in there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I thought I hadn't actually set anything, but why does it say there are 46 permitted workers when there should only be one? Interesting. Interesting. I see Min Max dabbling legendary down at the bottom there. What are we talking about there? What, is, what does that do? Hmm. One permit all, enter permit restrict. Okay, so that's to do with saying who can use the forge. I get that. So the Min Max, let's try it. Uh, asterisk slash. What is that doing? Novice, dabbling. Oh, I see. That's the min max uh, skill of the person using the forge, right? Yes, yes. I, I, I'm with you, Nunchaku Chaku. I'm following. I am following. Can I go left and right here? I can. There are no active work orders tied to this shop. All work orders must be validated by the manager before they become active. Okay. Interesting. General work orders are allowed to task this shop. Maximum general work order tasks allowed five, blah, blah, blah. And labor restrictions? I can't go to labor restrictions. What does that mean? How do I do that? Huh. Intriguing. Very intriguing. But we can't get too deep into this. I've, uh, I realize now that I can't immediately figure out how to do it. So we'll get into the game, unpause things and see what's happening. I'm thinking it might be wise to just bung another... S oh, hang on a minute. What's this? Is that a smelter? That's a smelter. That's a smelter. So we've got three smelters for three magma forges. That kind of makes sense. Have you tried adding a condition through the manager menu? Well, <clears throat> I have dabbled very, very, very lightly. I've never really given it much of a look. So let's take a look at this melt metal object. So we can... But conditions and details. Now, conditions, what do they do? One time order. This work order does not have any conditions. This sounds like the place where I talk about how often we do it. But melt a metal object <clears throat> is too general. We want to actually have orders for melting leggings, steel leggings. So add an item condition. What does that mean? A amount of items available, satisfied, next check. No, we don't want that. We don't want that. Item type, order condition, frequency, traits, delete condition. You know what? I don't think I'm ready for this. <laughs> I think I might be a little bit too casual for this shit. I might need to actually step back and think, how else can I approach this? By just doing things the eat Well, I say the easy way. It's Dwarf Fortress. We don't really have such a thing as an easy way in Dwarf Fortress, but we do have, you know, ways, other ways. That's the best way to put it, I think. Bear with me. I'm just going to have a little gulp of my coffee. Oh, Sergeant Indy, I forgot to do the plug, and now my coffee's cold. I feel disinclined to lift it again. Ah, oh, well, never mind. Your store will get its plug soon enough. Ah, oh. oh. oh, delicious. So anyway, uh, let's have a look. Did I take that order for making the leggings away? And also, how good are our armourers now? That's a good point. Maybe I should start levelling up the um, leveling up the old uh, weaponsmiths. Start making some axes and whatnot. That could be good. Uh, it does look like I've removed the leggings order, though. I don't see steel leggings in this list. No, I don't. So we're kind of just waiting for the melt orders to catch up. Although I'm seeing people here taking bars from the smeltery to here. What are you doing? Oh, nickel bars. Spiked copper balls. Oh, okay, so they're not actual... Yeah, you're making nickel doors, zinc goblets, copper ball. Okay, I'm skilling them up that way. That's fine. But I think that's a different skill from the armor smithing, isn't it? It's general blacksmithing that they're doing there. What are you doing? Oh, he's taking something out. He's taking the leggings out to melt. Okay. All is well here. We just need to let this tick over and get ourselves some reclaimed steel, and then we're all good. We can start putting down some like nice orders and getting our guys properly kitted out. They've all got weapons for the first time in Crickbeard's history, for the first time in 17 fortresses. All of my military have weapons, although at this stage, none of them have any kind of armor. Oh, Plutonium Jesus, you've created a masterpiece, uh, a masterpiece nest box. That's a bit weird, considering you're supposed to be in the military, but fine. We'll let it slip for now. We'll let it slip for now. 
Oh my goodness, loads of the gems have all just been ditched on the floor. Ah, I see what's happened there. That's where the gem workshop was, and we've disassembled it, and now, Bob's your uncle, gems all over the place. <clears throat> so, let's head down to the new industrial zone and see what we can do here. Let's pay a little bit of attention. The new, I should say, non-metallic industrial zone. Uh, I remember you mentioning that melting leggings creates extra metal bars. Does that actually work? It looks like it does, Ninjaku Jaku. I, I feel like if we go to the stocks, of course, feelings are nothing compared to evidence. So let's have a look. S T E L. Look, we've got now 30 steel bars. We came with like 39 maximum. And look how many pairs of leggings we've got here. I mean, they're definitely more than one steel bar a piece, right? Or, or does one steel bar make a set of chain leggings? Hmm. Who knows? But I, I definitely think that the actual amount of steel we have in the fortress is creeping up. So, uh, good, good. Good, good, good. <clears throat> uh, where were we? So we were looking at this place down here. We've got an unconstructed... What now? Clothier shop. That's not unconstructed. We've had people down there. Oh, it's a loom. Here's the clothier shop. They've made that. Here we've got an unconstructed leather works that needs leather working, apparently. But nobody's come down to use it. I wonder why. Hmm. 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 We do need to set all these stockpiles up as well. I would like to have a proper flow of materials through the fortress because we've we've gained a lot of frames back just by making sure that the pathing 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 like area is much smaller for dwarves by putting them near their workshops and stuff. It's made it fairly quick. Hmm. Okay. So this gem cutter's workshop needs a stockpile. That's for certain. So I'm going to say P. Uh, gem, E, there we go. And on this side, I'm going to create a stockpile like this. And on this side of the workshop, yeah, uh-huh, so that's the edge there, that's it. How many wide is it? Two, three, four, <clears throat> that'll do. I'm going to do another one. And this side, we're going to have uncut gems. Uh, change settings, gems, rough gems, rough glass. Cut gems, cut glass, cut stone, get rid of those. So F, F, F in the chat for all the cut gems. And then oof, over here, change settings. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to go down to gems and we're going to take all of the rough gems out. Bosh. No, we'll leave that there for decorative purposes, just in case any accidentally gets made. So we've got our stockpiles there. Now, uh, maybe I should make a little mechanism stockpile down here. That would be nice. Also, I've just realized I need to set the max bins. Oh, that's right. It's at 40. It's fine. Is it worth making wheelbarrows available? I'm going to make one wheelbarrow available for each gems workshop and see how that works. Ooh, well, there we go. <clears throat> they might not use one. I don't know how it works, but uh, hopefully it will uh, have some benefit. Right, uh, we need a stockpile now, and I believe mechanisms go into a um, furniture workshop, which is you. Uh, and then we just pop that down here, and there. Bosh. Mechanisms. <laughs> Hopefully we won't be making masses of surplus mechanisms, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully they can go in bins, that would be nice. So, type, stone, clay, metal, other materials, core quality, total quality. So, type, uh, we don't want, is it D? No, it's F. No, no, uh, uh, P. Whew. Enter, okay, so we don't want floodgates, hatch covers, grates, doors, catapult parts. Actually, I'm seeing there's a, there's a better way. <laughs> there's a better way. Forbid mechanism. Bang, look at that. So... Do I? This is not to do with what we're making. Basically, that what I've done is made it so it only takes mechanisms, right? That makes sense. And then what do we do? <clears throat> do we make a stone stockpile to feed this, or we just take the stone from the mason's workshop? Give to mason's workshop. Okay. Give to mechanics workshop. Boom. There we go. <clears throat> it definitely needs more stuff in it. So what I'm going to do is assign more wheelbarrows. It's got 10 wheelbarrows already. Do we actually have any wheelbarrows? That's a good point to make. Maybe I should check and see if my carpentry place is made. It is. Excellent. Uh, let's add a new task. That's not right. 
<laughs> that's the alerts. Um, let's go to the workshop. Uh, adult work task. Wooden wheelbarrow. There we go. And I think we're going to need to have a fairly large number of these knocking around. So I'm going to put an order for 50 in and see how long that takes to get made. And even if they're just laying around not being used, well, oh well. Better to have more than we need than not enough. That's what I say. It looks like we've got lots of nice empty bins, but maybe these are full of furniture? Hmm. Let's, let's view the Hazelwood bin. Can we see the contents? No. I know there is a way, but I can't remember how, so we're going to give up on that for a second. <clears throat> okay, so we've got some stockpiles ready for our gems and our mechanisms. That's good. Hello, Vehemut. Welcome back to the stream. Thanks for joining us again. And of course you like wheelbarrows. Everybody should like wheelbarrows. Um, right, okay, what are we doing? Uh, now, there's a burrow around here, isn't there? Unless it's been removed. Ah, I think that's what we did at the end of last session. We removed the... Um, we removed the thingamajiggle, the doodah, the centre on burrow. But there's nothing for this burrow eight. So that's going to be... Wait, did we? Oh, we also deleted the burrow for the people who were working down in the metal uh, forges, aren't, didn't we? That's a bit of a problem. Okay, let's define burrow eight. And we're going to make burrow eight called um, industrial... Industrial dwarfs, dwarfs or dwarves. I'm going to go for the VES. So that's our industrial dwarf zone. So now we need to say how big it is, and of course it's going to encompass these rooms here. Oh shit! Did I? I did. Knackers. Start again. Boom. Down, 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 and then all the way across there. Oh, not too far. There we go, we're going to fill that room up with it. Uh, the furniture stockpile can also be a part of this zone. And the corridor. Now, do we need to connect areas of these zones? Or if I go and designate the bedrooms as... Oh, I was going to make craft dwarf bedrooms separate, wasn't I? I was going to build a separate bedroom column. Okay. We'll leave that as it is for now. Industrial dwarves is a zone in creation. <clears throat> Do any big project plans or aspirations yet? Not yet, Verma. We're still very much in the uh, getting things going phase. <laughs> We're not really at the stage where I've got any massive plans. That fighting pit is still far from completion. Here it goes. We have got some mining going on in there, though, so that's good. <clears throat> some actual digging is getting done. It's looking a bit awkward. But we'll see how it develops. We'll see how it develops. Let's go back up a level to our, or a level or two, to our industrial zone, and now over to here. Now, do I have any burrows established here? No. <sighs> okay. Add a new burrow. Burrow number nine. Define burrow. This is going to be magma town. <laughs> there we go. Magma town. Brilliant. Uh, we're going to define the burrow as. <clears throat> Excuse me. All of these rooms. Come on, calm down. Uh, this room over here. Oh shit, do the doorways as well. Why not? Why not? Nice coverage. Nice coverage. In there. Through here. Actually, can I paint with the keys? With the mouse? Oh, I can! Look at this! Oh, freedom! Oh, freehand filling. I bet there's a flood fill option, isn't there? Mind you, do I want a flood fill with an open corridor like that? Seems like a bad move, doesn't it? Seems like a <clears throat> bit of a dunderheaded action. Okay, let's fill this corridor up. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let's fill that up as well. Uh, and then these bedrooms. Yeah. They still haven't dug out those new bedrooms. Maybe I should put the priority higher. Feels like we're missing out on getting those dug because we do have people who are still pathing all the way to the other bedrooms to get to sleep. And that's eating not only into production time, but into pathing budgets. And pathing budgets are the new hotness in this fortress. That's the thing we're thinking about most of the time. Um, <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> oh my god. 
<coughs> Pardon me. Okay, so now we've got that sorted. Let's assign some dwarves to this burrow. Let's see. Okay, so low-hanging fruit. I know that we need Anubis because he is the guy who runs one of the forges. Uh, I should just search S A N U B I S. There we go. There's Anubis. Uh, I'm going to quickly head over to Dwarf Therapist. <clears throat> active burrow areas need to be fully connected to other active burrow areas for them to walk around. This includes stairways and such. Ah, okay. Okay. Well, that, that's in a way, better. That's better than what I was thinking. So let's get rid of this search. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There we go. Head over to Dwarf Therapist. Hello. There you go. And have a little look-see at who we have who's good at stuff like this. Our furnace operators are Uzol Olatum, Anubis, who's already signed, and Alath Limulkir. Okay. Uzol Olantum, you're next. Let me just head over to the fortress. Uh, U Z O L. Oh, I put a K on the end there. There he is. He's assigned. Bang. Uh, I'm coming back over to therapist again. And Alath Limulkir. So where are you? Uh, search. Amath. Huh? Alath, not Amath. Alath. Let's take you back over to the door fortress. You can watch the fort. Looking at the old therapist is a bit eye blinding, isn't it? Especially if you're in the dark. <clears throat> How's the mayor doing? We'll check up on in a minute. If I forget about it, remind me. So, uh, Alath Limulkir says he's an engraver. Uh, that's going to change soon enough because he's uh, now restricted to the metal zone, <clears throat> as they say in the metal community. Um, that's, I'm going to pop back over. So that's our furnace operators. What about our weaponsmiths? We've got two. Liquid Samurai and Mebzuth. There can't be more than one Mebzuth. M-E-B-Z. Oh, of course there is, but I'm presuming he's the armourer. There we go. And Liquid Samurai. How do I search? There we go. L-I-Q. Yeah, easy peasy. There's only one. There's only one Liquid Samurai. Uh, now, armour smithing. Uh, Mebzoth's already in, Liquid Samurai's already in, Toulon Thobothos. Okay, Toulon Thobothos. Toulon Thobothos. Bone Carver. No, he's not. Not anymore. Uh, next, we have our blacksmiths, Mistum Ustathakum and Asmel Law Bamokil. <laughs> okay, uh, Mistum Ustathakum. Let's uh, sort him out. Uh, S M I S T E M. There he is, an actual blacksmith. Good stuff. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Asmel. Asmel's already in there, aren't they? Asmel and. I oh, know Mebzeth is. Let's have a look at Mebzeth. Asmel. Asmel? Asmel. Uh, a S M E L. Yep. Blacksmith. Good. Uh, and then after that, we've got metal crafting, which is done at Crafts Dwarf workshops, right? So we don't need to assign those. I'm going to run that risk and leave them unassigned for now. And we'll have a quick recap of Magma Town. So the dwarves are stuck in the burrow. Ah, hang on. Uh, we want to mine at priority one, and we want to do all of this. This should get done in fairly short order, right? I feel it will, right? Now the miners are really cracking. We've got a few. They're all picked up. We should be fine. We're not going to wait ages for this to happen. There's no other priority one mining except in the fighting pit. And for some reason that seems to progress at the most lackadaisical pace. Unbelievably slowly. Okay, so we've got everyone assigned. We've got a dining area. We've got a food storage area. We've got the area where we're keeping all of the ores. We've got some bedrooms, though not enough yet. I have to recognise that. We've got some stores for... Oh, a vile force of darkness has arrived. Let's press enter to close the window and see what we've got. Well, apparently they're approaching from the volcano. Oh, here we go. Down here, look, it's a little gobbo. A little teeny weeny goblin. Oh, isn't he cute? The correct answer to that is no. No, he's not. So, um, this is going to balls things up. It's going to be a massive blockage to bloody uh, everything. Right, <clears throat> so have we got our hidey hole <laughs> workshop set up? Hidey hole workshop? Hidey hole burrow. Let's check it out. 
Nobody's assigned to Heidi Hole, but it does cover all the food production and the dining hall. Sure. Oh, actually, is it, does it cover the bedrooms? Not yet, but that's not exactly a small order to take care of, is it? Let's do that quickly. Heidi Hole. Uh, best way to do it is to probably just full column select the entire thing like that and then go down, 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 down. Come on, fuck me. Whoa. There we go. That's good. So if we go up. Yeah. Alrighty. Good. So now those who have actually got bedrooms there can go in. Okay, back up to the surface and prepare. What number invasion is this? Like four? I Three or four. Three or four. We've had an elven invasion. We've had an invasion of elves who were equipped with goblin gear, presumably kidnapped goblin slave kids. And I think I think this is the third. Have we had? I don't think we've actually had goblins attack yet. I think this is the first actual goblin invasion. So um, could be interesting. Could be very interesting. Sadly, now though, we no longer have um, traps between us and the main the main fortress and the goblins, which is a problem. Okay. No fanning around. Off to the military screen. Off to the alert screen. Hidey hole. Civilian alert. There we go. That's good, isn't it? Civilian alert inactive. Okay, let's try again. So, civilian alert. No, that's not how it works, is it? How do I set the civilian alert? Enter set civilian alert. Huh? Ah, <laughs> brain, <laughs> brain. That's okay. We're going to assume that that's correct, and everyone's going to start flooding towards the burrow. Right? Unpause, and suddenly everyone's dropping what they're doing and running to the burrow. <clears throat> it looks like we're getting a lot of cancellations. Suspended the construction of the bed. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, right. Let's have a quick look and see if we've got any indicator of how many goblins are turning up just yet. It's probably not time, not enough time for them to get on the all on the screen, but we're looking. We're looking. We'll find out. As we head higher up, they're going to be somewhere on this mountainside. Unless they've managed to move at an unbelievable pace, they should still be on this mountainside. Right? Coming up at the volcano. There's one. Two. Okay, it seems like they're coming on slowly. Or they're coming in a very small force, which doesn't bode well for their victory, to be honest. Now that we've got weapons, I'm not expecting a complete rout of the enemy, and I'm not expecting to take no casualties. But I am expecting things to be significantly quicker than before. I'm just going to quickly take a peek at our dwarves' military skills, if you will bear with me. I won't take you over to the uh, um, to the uh, dwarf therapist for now. I'm just going to have a quick look myself. Uh, let's sort by squad so I can see who's who. The laborious castles now have... Um, oh, plutonium Jesus. Heads are going to roll. He's at a level... Well, actually, they're not. He's a hammer dwarf, so heads are presumably going to be thrust down between the shoulders they lie on, rather than rolling. I mean, once you've been blatted with a level 7 skill in... What's he carrying? Silver hammer? Has he got a silver hammer? I'm looking. Doesn't say. He's not carrying... Oh, he is! Oh, he's got an, he's got an artifact steel war hammer. Nice. Oh, boy. Yes, it's looking pretty good, to be honest. <clears throat> the Night Rippers aren't looking too bad. One of them's got level 3 mace somehow. Clay Cree, you've managed to develop level 3 mace skills, but, um... Hmm. Okay, where's the, uh, where's the Banded Lanterns? They're not doing too bad either. Three of them have now got a, a level 3 weapon skill. Pikeman, Spear Dwarf, and Swords Dwarf. So that's good. Okay, I'm, I'm confident that we have at least a chance. At least a chance. Let's unpause the game and watch everybody flood down to the safe zone. Fingers crossed. And also, let's activate our squads. Uh, the Laborious Castles and the Banded Lanterns now need to be stationed 
where. I think for now, we're going to put them at the mouth of the thing. Did that work? No, M. Cool. OK, I think that worked. So I'm going to station my military at the doorway immediately, although I am also I am going to move them. Once it seems like the majority of the civilian dwarves are down in the but in the burrows, we'll move them. But who knows how that's going to work out. OK, I'm going out of the military screen now. We're going to watch carefully for goblin ingress. I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing any dwarves. I've got dwarves. Goblins yet. <clears throat> but we are chugging along at 15 frames a second, so it may take a little while for them to get down here. And by a little while, I mean potentially the entire session, but we'll see. No dwarves are out here now. That's good. Hmm. The vampires aren't ready for prime time yet. They need a little longer to train. They need weapons and armor, but once they're kitted out... My intention is... Uh, spoilers, if anyone doesn't know all the little fun reference names for stuff... I'm not going to be calling it Candy. So if you don't know what Candy is or the circus or anything like that, now is the time to piss off and find a stream where they're using metaphor and euphemism. Um, I'm going to try and find some... You've got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're in spoiler town now. No complaining. Uh, when I find some adamantine, or adamantium, it's adamantine, isn't it? When I find that, I am definitely going to be making a suit of armor for the old, uh, for the vampires first. We're going to get them fully kitted out in top quality gear and then hopefully by that time they'll have managed to train up enough to be a truly formidable force we may even send them out on raiding parties and see how it works out but for now we're just going to stick with uh, our military as is i'm going to quickly scoot down there should be no nope, they're not in there that's good are the military heading upstairs it looks like we've got a military dwarf here any more coming it's okay back up to the surface it's, it's good we've got a nice little knot of capable dwarves here plugging the entryway to the fortress and looking at these corridors it seems like we've actually moved most of the people down into the safe zone what are you who's that ral cos Colorol? militia captain where are you going what you doing what you playing at <sighs> anubis is now heading down to the safe zone i'm not sure i like that I feel like I want him to remain in his own burrow just throughout any kind of civilian alert. But we'll have to figure out how to do that. How old is this Cryptbeard Fort? Well, in episode numbers, it's episode 34. But uh, I'm not entirely sure. Is there a, a screen we can go to to look at the, uh, the foundation date? Is that possible? Is that a viable option? What is this lad doing? Where are you going? Rice's 009, you are supposed to be stationed here. You're clearly a military boy. What are you doing? S. Station. Okay. Uh, is there something I can do to make this a more sticky order? To make them do it no matter what? That's what I want. P. Select individuals. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, anyway, sorry, I was getting distracted there. I, I've, I've now realised that you can take this to a rather fine grain level of... Oh, who's this? Who's this? Who are you? What are you doing here? Why are you here? What are you up to? Lorbam Dusimkan, the scholar. All right, all right, in you come. We're not going to bar you based on what shoes you wear or how you choose to spend your time. We're going to allow you in. Well, obviously, unless you're an, you know, an elf or whatever. I like the way these guys have arranged themselves. Look, Fuzzy Logic, Gingy Ginger, and Plutonium Jesus. All solid combatants have formed a little line here that no one's going to get through, I hope. Although I am conscious that there's a significant chance we're going to be attacked with ranged weapons. And now, now I'm worrying. <laughs> because we need to find a bottleneck location to get them in. Here they come! Here they come. It looks like they're all on the map. And they're... Ugh. Ugh. Okay, pause. Let's head over to Therapist. Let's head over to Dwarf Therapist and see what we can learn. Uh, animals. They come under animals, don't they? Non-applicable? Oh, squad. Okay, duh. Uh, I'll sort by race. Here we go. Alpacas, black bears, blue peafowls, capybaras, cats, chickens, cougars, 
cows, dogs, donkeys, ducks, geese. And we've had a few of those slaughtered. That's good. Getting a slightly smaller number of them in the fortress. Giant black bears, giant hamsters, giant magpies, giant wolverines, goats, groundhogs, koalas, llamas, pigs, reindeer, sheep, turkeys, water buffaloes, yaks. Okay, it's not under animals. That's fine. <laughs> Let's go to... Military? Not dwarves. Goblins. Ah, oh, it's not showing enemies. Darn. Oh, darn. Bloody pain in the arse. Uh, okay, uh, back to Fortress, and we'll do it the old-fashioned way, using the U key, I believe. There we go, and we want to find others. Okay, so Invader. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. Okay, we have twenty dwarves. I don't remember what year we started on, no, unfortunately. Uh we have twenty dwarves in our military. We are outnumbered, however, fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. This could be the end of the fortress. It may not. We may succeed. My confidence levels, however, are dropping. What is this lad doing out here? Stinthad the Bard. Hast thou the wits of a fuck? Or, put more colloquially, are you a fuckwit? Hast thou the wits of a fuck? What is wrong with me? Um, okay. Let's just unpause and see what happens. Do I pull these lads back from the entryway? Because we still have people knocking around trying to get through. All of our metal industries are coming through now. God damn, if only I'd figured out a way to keep them down in their own little zone, we'd be fine. When we see the bar drop, we'll know it's problem time. You know what? S, A and C. I want you to move just back here a bit. Just out of the line of fire from any kind of, you know, ranged weapons, that kind of thing. And then when you're, uh, when you're back, when they turn up, you can all charge out. This isn't fantastic. Okay, hang on. Uh, M, is it, can you designate an area? As if. <laughs> Not at all. Not a chance. Are they here yet? Not going to lie, feeling a bit worried. We're here on the battle lines, waiting for the mist to clear and for the goblins to step through, and we're not sure of the uh, cut of their jib, the strength of their metal, M-E-T-T-L-E. -E. How do we do? How will we fare? Let's have a look at... Let's just pause the action a second and, and have a look at some of these boys. See how good they are. Is anyone any actually, actually any good? Bax Sossether, Goblin Recruit. Cat Cranberry Vines? That can't be right. Enter. A medium-sized humanoid driven to cruelty by its evil nature. His hair is extremely long. He has a recessed chin. His lips are very thick. His eyelashes are extremely short. His nose is somewhat long. His red eyes are slightly wide-set. His ears are somewhat short. His hair is amethyst. His skin is mint green. Well, that's a lovely colour. I do love mint green. One of my favourites. No mention of weapons. I'm sure there's a way to figure it out. But did I just see a... That must have been my cursor flickering. It's fine. Guys, why are you so close to the entrance? Uh, S, A, C. Move. Lads, I want you to move back here. Come on. Back down the corridor a bit. I, I want you to sally forth at the right moment. I don't want you standing around out here going, Oh, guy. Um, have they got crossbows, or are we are we safe? Um, maybe we should check. You know, I don't want any of that carry on. I want you ready, ready to sally forth and chop goblin guts, or any part of the body. To be honest, as long as you're chopping successfully, as long as you're cleaving, you know, crushing, smashing, destroying, that's fine. It doesn't have to be the guts. But mind you, I mean, on the battlefield, when one reaches a certain level of skill. I imagine you are making your attacks based on more than just success or no success criteria. You're probably thinking, if I stab him in the gut, that's going to release a lot of unpleasant gas. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to go for a headshot instead. It's not like I have to clean this mess up. 
Whereas, you know, I will have to suffer the stench of his escaping digestive gases if I penetrate, perforate, or pierce in any way that part of his body. Mmm. <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. Well done, me. Keeping the tone nice and highbrow. Who am I kidding? This isn't highbrow. This, the brow on this one is pretty low. In fact, it's practically a genital merkin, the brow. It's not even over the eyes anymore. It's way down, down on the pelvis. Ten frames a second. Oof. Oof, I say. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on, gobbos. Come to my bottleneck. Come to my bottleneck and be smashed and bashed and chopped and slashed. I'm sounding like a goblin myself now. Oost, indeed, Claycree. Oost! Oost! They're not moving. They're not going to where I told them to go. How big is their sort of idea of where a place is that I've sent them to? How far away do I have to get them back before they actually behave in a manner as expected? Come on, boys. We're, this is not the days of the Crypt Rush. We are in a new world. The Crypt Beard's Rush is old technology. You're attempting to use, um, you know, at bows and arrows in the age of gunpowder. Not literally, just as a just as a metaphor. What happens if I pull it back here? Can they? Will they move? At eleven frames a second, not rapidly. Come on, lads! This is going to be a slow motion battle. That's what the battlefield is going to sound like. All the uh, the tinks and tings of weapons on armour is going to sound like dinner gongs. <clears throat> I'm, I'm imagining, I mean, the graphics in my head are incredible, and I hope you too are experiencing this. I mean, the battlefield is set, and all we have to do now is take the information the game gives us and build our own little mind palace of war. Mind palace of war? Hmm. Okay, they're nearly here. And the guys charge. Everybody's charging. This is good. Has anybody taken damage? Not yet. That first goblin's been met in battle, and he's dead. This is good. No obvious dead dwarves yet, only goblins. However, we are seeing some exclamation marks over their head, which does worry me. I think someone just got hit. However, I think the goblins came off worse in the exchange. Okay, they've met with the, uh, the main bulk of the first force, but they do have a ranged lad. Come on, don't let the ranged boys get you. There's another boy over here. Have they got a force holding back? I think they have, haven't they? Yeah, look, they have a secondary and a tertiary force. Come on, boys. Chop some gobbos. Show me some goblin blood. Blood for Armok! Oh, I'm getting a little bit corn. Let's calm down. Corn, of course, with an H, not O-R-N. The god, not the band. Come on. I don't see any dead gobbos, uh, dead, dead dwarves. This is looking good. They are all goblin corpses. Can we pull them back for a second sally? I think we've won. I think we've won this first engagement. Uh, squads, uh, A, no, not one. Uh, A and C, move. Come back, come back. Come on, lads. Come on, get to the safety of the mountain home. I say the mountain home. We're technically not the mountain home. We're a different force. Don't get spread out, boys. I want you in a tight little formation. Let's take a peek at the battle reports and see how that first thing actually went. So, there's all the sparring that happened before. Human Lady Consort in Spuz Kamkalan is fighting. What's this? That's not recent. Okay, so here's the goblins. The goblin spearman Burr Goslustzon. How did he fare? Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, no, no. No, 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 oh, 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 guess Crusade? <laughs> okay, Plutonium Jesus is just vomiting a bit, the turkey hen stands up, the militia can, can, death is all around us, I feel very uneasy, okay, it looks like, if we go down to page five, we need to check more regularly at uh, shorter intervals because frankly we've missed all of the no notifications now this double force they have knocking around is concerning ah oh, this guy's wounded 
Urist earth bent. Plutonium, Jesus! Oh no. Oh no. Not PJ. Not PJ. Let's go to the therapist and see how the... Hello. Let's see how the wound situation's working out. Um, health. Health, health, health. Uh, I want to sort by squads. Please don't let anyone be dead. Uh, let's read the dwarves. Good. Still ten in the laborious castles. Still ten in the banded lanterns. Looking good, but we are seeing a number of wounds. What have we got here? Uh, let's start by severed and missing. Okay. Uh, right lower arm missing. Right lung tissue torn open. Upper body tissue torn open. Ooh, Lickot. Uh, what about Gingy Ginger? Gingy Ginger's missing his left lower leg, but he has a crutch, which indicates to me that he went into battle that way. So that's probably okay. And this lad's missing. He's got a broken elbow, missing some teeth. His left wrist is broken. His left hip is broken. He can't stand grasp. He's thirsty and unconscious. Well, at least he's not going to be conscious when the goblins descend on him. What's up with Plutonium? He's in pain. He's got nerve damage. Shit. Uh, sensory nerve in the right lower arm. Oh dear. Uh, how's Fuzzy? He's uh, Fuzzy's fresh. Fuzzy's good. Fuzzy's actually not too bad, which is good because he's our next best fighter compared to Plutonium Jesus, who appears to have been quite badly fucked. Uh, right ankle tissue smashed apart. Ouch. Movement impaired. Nausea. Not surprised. Breaks and fractures. Yeah, he's looking pretty rough. Hello, Orchimedes. Welcome back to the stream. Thanks for joining us. You're in the military too, aren't you? Let's have a look at you. You're currently, you've got movement impaired due to dizziness and slight pain from a bruised right foot. Oh, Orchimedes, poor you. You've got a bruised right foot. Lickot's looking at you in envy with his uh, torn open right lung. He's sitting there on the battlefield going... <laughs> Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Well, it looks like you are a re relatively proficient hammer dwarf. Let's have a little look, Orchimedes. You're not just... You're a skilled hammer dwarf, sir. A skilled hammer dwarf. But Plutonium Jesus is pretty fucked, and he was an adept hammerman. So, um... Hmm. Fuzzy, however, is using a hammer... Oh, is he using a hammer or an axe? Let's have a quick look. Uh, he's using a legendary bronze battle axe, so... Intriguing. Let's head back to the game and see what's happening. We 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 repelled. Well, I didn't. I say repelled. We killed the first wave, and there were no fatalities. However, we have some injuries, so we'll have to see how this pays off in the end. I'm assuming it was the crossbow bolts that did it, right? In fact, you know what, boys. Oh, this is tempting. I don't know if the good guys, if the wounded lads, are savable. But do we make a last stand? Do we have everybody gather over the bodies of the fallen and attempt to hold firm? Or do we repeat our previous tactic of hiding around the corner and then sallying forth when they get close enough? You know what? They don't seem to be shooting from the tree line. I'm going to be bold. We're going to try and save these lads. We're going to see what we can do. So, here goes nothing. Stand firm, my dwarves. Do not break. Become unyielding, like the mountain itself. Become unyielding. Interesting. Now, do we attempt to bring out our vampires? Because I have a feeling unarmed, unarmoured, even though they do are possessed of supernatural strength. Oh, God. They didn't have just secondary and tertiary. They've got quaternary. Okay. Um, well, I think Clay Cree over a short enough time spans, i.e. non-geological ones, yes, mountains are unyielding. Uh, but, um, you know, over long time spans, no, I suppose they're not, are they? They, uh, they yield tectonic pressures and such. Oh, what do we do? I'm massively unprepared for this. Um... Okay, uh, let's check. Let's just have a quick run through of the fortress. We've got some entertainers down here. Who are you? Dakost, you're a swords dwarf. That's fine. You're supposed to be here. 
Buckshot Brigade you're supposed to be here. So these appear to be, apart from our visiting, like, unbelievable quantity of entertainers, why have none of these fighters come out? That's what I want to know, sitting in the tavern. Oh, yeah, I've come here to fight monsters. <laughs> Maybe you could, like, you know, show me where they are. I'm just going to drink this first. Wankers. Um, okay, so let's go down and check if anybody's in the old fort. Nobody's on the farms. The a very wounded elf still lying at the bottom of that pit. We do have some people in the hospital. They'll need defending. There's nobody in the old bedrooms. There's nobody down here. Oh, God, there is. There's somebody. There's somebody just down here. Who are you? Human? Well, on your own head be it, mate. What about you? Rices? Aren't you an army man? Or has he just come down to get a weapon? Oh, I left my weapon down at the forges. Fool. Fool. We've got this lad coming down here. That's nice. Any other people down here? And oh, they're all supposed to be down here. That's fine. So. Maybe we fall back to the twisty turny corridor and fight them here. Retreat and use your traps. Now, Verhamut, that is a fantastic notion, and I support it 100%. Sadly, the only set of traps between them and us right now is this cavern baffle. Is that the cavern baffle? That's the cavern baffle. So, uh, who's in here? We've still got a caged elf from the last time. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Okay, are these actually capable of catching? Because they're full of stuff that came up from the bloody mines. Hello, Traitin2. Welcome back to the stream. Ah, we are in the middle of a siege which doesn't look like it's going to go well. Although we can all keep our fingers crossed and have a little pray to Armok. That might work. Okay, right. We're, we're falling back. I'm, I'm sorry, Plutonium Jesus. Even a few extra traps will make the dis difference. I know, but... The sad truth is they're all cage traps, so there's not going to be any damage done, unfortunately. Although we may end up capturing them. However, I feel like there's... Maybe they'll be emboldened and they'll just charge down here? That could be the case. Okay, here's a second idea. We take one squad, put them here, to try and tempt goblins over the traps. And then we take another squad and we station them down here to try and defend. Now, I feel like the stronger squad should be the one defending down here. Mm. It's difficult. It's difficult. Praise to the god of deceit. Well, hopefully we can deceive the enemy into thinking that we are a, a dangerous force to be reckoned with and have them flee. Of course, should the military fall, we all know what's coming. Brace yourselves. We may see another Crypbeard's rush. It seems unlikely they have the numbers. Normally, the Crypbeard's Rush hinges very strongly on the fact that we over outnumber and can overwhelm the enemy with our fists. But in this instance, that's just not possible. We have to rely on tactics and skill. Neither of which are, unfortunately, in a very strong supply state. Back up to the surface. What's happening here? How far are they away? They are not far away. Although it does look like they have designated leaders for their squads, so maybe some kind of focusing attack. This is why we. This is why I really should pay more attention to the ranged game. I should really be. Um, can you make some more traps? Even stone traps are better than nothing. How many gobos are attacking? Well, last count, I did a little count, and there were thirty of them. However. I feel now that that number may well have increased. Uh, let's take a look at the list. Um, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 49. 49 dwarves and we had a military totaling 20 at the outset and we have at least three dwarves immobile all here in a neat little stack plutonium jesus aesop feb tangak and urist burmat unfortunately so hmm what do we do there 
I mean, we could try and stand our ground, form a little ring around them. I say that. I mean, they're not going to form a ring, are they? Dwarves are going to do what dwarves are going to do. <sighs> Am I sad? Is a full-on assault suicide? Am I just lunatic? Will I gain anything from engaging in this sort of tactical mind game with the goblins? What do we think? Who has experience here with fourth-tier goblin invasions? Because, obviously, <laughs> I rarely get this far and uh, have not done well. You can beat them. They will start retreating if you can cause some damage. Do we want to sacrifice Hero of the Fortress Plutonium Jesus? Let me just... Let's just remind ourselves what we stand to lose. Hello. Uh, Plutonium Jesus, remember, now wounded, has literally over a thousand kills. He has killed 1,020 goblins. Let's read that again. Just make sure that's... You see if that's gone up. Still 1,020, but he's also got one notable goblin kill, so that's good. These lads' counts have all gone up. Hang on, Rice's 009 hasn't killed anybody. This guy, Likot, he killed someone because he only killed dingoes before. Gingy Ginger hasn't killed, Vukar hasn't killed, Kubuk has killed. Now let's have a look at the banded lanterns. Are they the ones who've done the best? Eral, 11. Very nice, although I feel like he did those before he got here. Uh, pitfall traps. Okay, okay. Back to the fortress. Back to the fortress. The survival of the fortress is more important, unfortunately, than the survival of one dwarf. So we are going to have to retreat and leave poor old Plutonium Jesus alone. However, because of the density of cage traps here, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 8, 12, uh, 16... Oh, well, hang on. These are sets of 12, so 24, 36. I mean, goblins going over these are going to get captured in great number. So I feel like defending the rest of the inside of that part of the fortress is a fool's errand. We're going to retreat down to the deeper fortress and hopefully give ourselves a nice little bottleneck in which to mince some gobbos. Mincing gobbos, mincing gobbos, mincing gobbos, mincing gobbos. La 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 la. Oh, mincing gobbos. Oh, mincing gobbos, mincing gobbos. Let's cancel the orders they currently have, right? Is that going to work? Ah, fuck, I see what I've done wrong. Uh, P, select squads. A, C. Da 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 Finally they will respond to my orders because I'm actually giving orders. Lovely. Right. Fall back, my brave dwarves. What the figgins? They're not even down. Plutonium Jesus is back up and dragging his bleeding ass towards the enemies. PJ, now is not the time for heroics. You have a slender chance for survival. Pull out! Pull out! How do we give him an order? PJ. PJ. What? There's two of them. What? Plutonium Jesus Goozling. Plutonium Jesus Copper Run. Creator of female? What? Oh? Huh? Hmm. Can you wall off the gobbos until you are ready to face them? Wall off the passageway and redig a different way up. Maybe. Okay, here's how we're playing this. We're going to turn this into RP. Plutonium Jesus, who else is with him? Let's have a quick look. Um, Urist Burmat and Aesop Fed Tangak. They are the brave dwarves who will delay the goblin assault. The rest of the military heading downstairs. They're going to find themselves in the twisty corridor that leads to the new deep fortress. At that point, they're going to form a wall of dwarves while... Workers attempt to wall the fortress in so that they can't... Oh, fuck. There's a problem. We're going to have to extend the burrow so that... Or remove somebody from the burrow so that workers can... Um, so the workers can come and actually wall things off. Good evening, Buckshot Brigade. You catch us in the middle of an, a military engagement for which we were woefully ill-prepared. We have three dwarves making a final stand against insurmountable odds and 
the rest of the, the uh, military are heading back into the fortress to try and defend the inner sanctum. You should have only the way down be over that bridge and through all those traps. Yes, I recognise that, Vehama. I recognise that. And I recognised it several episodes slash sessions ago and now realise I should have acted on that <laughs> rather than being a silly billy and being totally useless. Um... I really want to put um, a little bit of Wagner on for some reason. It feels appropriate for the fall of the fort. Okay, here's a plan. We attempt to wall these doors off here? No, 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 that's too close. That's too close. It's too close. Okay. I'm going the wrong way. I want to go down rather than up. Hmm, for some reason, the chat appears on the stream faster than it does in the actual chat room. Am I the only one who notices that? That's interesting. You can use the bridge to break up the trap. That would be true. Were my dwarves actually connected to the two fortresses? Hang on, back to the surface. Down, 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 down. Cavern baffle. Nice. Traps, but not many. Down, 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 down. There we go. Oh, shit. How have I just noticed that this... In, in, oh, it's open to the caverns. Fuck's sake. <sighs> down, down, that's up. Oh, God, I'm going the wrong way. I'm, I'm being addled. I've been frazzled by the fear of a goblin horde. Oh, we do have another cavern baffle. Oh. This. This is where we make our stand. This is where we wall ourselves in. Remove the the requirement for being inside the um, inside the uh, oh shit the burrow, and then once we've done that, then we can reconnect to the rest of the fortress on the other side of the trap barriers. Yes, sound good, sound good. Hello, filthy. I'm good. How are you? Good to see you back again. Also, we haven't had any trading yet because I'm getting the feeling that this entire session is going to revolve very heavily around the events of this siege. <laughs> I have a strong suspicion. Uh, also, we're not ready to use the vampires yet, so they're going to be remaining in their little thing. Um, okay. What are we doing? What are we doing? We can actually make a move on this scoundrel. Make a move. Well, we've already set the orders for the military to come down here. I'm pointing with my fingers in my in my distracted mental state. The military are heading down here, apart from the three who have already entered their death rush frenzy, which is sad, but unfortunately unavoidable. Everybody should be down here in the... Yeah, look, this whole area is absolutely flooded with dwarves. It's all good. Oh, look, some captured elves. Very nice. Okay, so they're all good. Everything is good down here for now. Once the military are down here, we come up a few floors. Excuse me. That's going down, scoundrel. Don't go down, go up. And in... Surely there was... Have I... Have I... Oh, the cavern baffle is below the fucking doors, for Christ's sake! And we'll wall off here, because there's no doorway. So, back to the surface. Let's watch the military pull in. Here we go. Come on. Everybody indoors, lads. Don't get distracted. Not you! Don't join the death charge! Oh, Christ. Who's joined the death charge now? Kubuk. No idea who you are. Gingy Ginger. Come on. Downstairs. Into the... Where are you lads going? This is not where you're supposed to be going. <laughs> this is where you're supposed to be going. Oh, dwarves. Uh, I see. Move. Little shits, get down here. In there, go. Go, 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 go. Everybody, turn around. Turn around. Every now and then my dwarves fuck around and don't do what they're told. Turn around. PJ, come on, Plutonium Jesus, you hold the line. You keep these goblins at bay. Let's look at the combat reports. Let's see how heroically he's dealing with it. <laughs> Where is Fuzzy Logic? Hello. Human Lady Consort. Oh, is he not fighting? Oh no, they're not just pounding on him, are they? That's not good. Oh dear. 
The elite wrestler shakes the goblin lasher around. The goblin lasher lashes the elite wrestler in the right lower leg, tearing the muscle. Oh, it's not looking good. We're getting some blue. But it's wrestlers. Why are they wrestling? I've given them freaking weapons. They now have all the equipment they need. Maybe they just didn't grab it. I'm not seeing Plutonium Jesus in this list, though. But he is definitely standing in the thick of things. Which makes things confusing. And this last notification is him sparring. Oh, hang on. The wrestler is fine. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, God, no. <laughs> They're all red. That's not a good sign. Here he is. He's the second one down. The elite wrestler, Plutonium Jesus, is fighting. He's not using his fucking axe because he's too good at wrestling. Misses. Misses the elite wrestler. Uh, the elite wrestler releases the grip of the elite wrestler's left lower leg on the goblin. Goblin misses. Hang on a minute. Goblin misses. Okay, tearing the muscle. The wrestler bites the goblin lasher in the left upper arm, but the attack is deflected by the goblin lasher's iron mail shirt. <sighs> oh. <sighs> oh, just imagine. Just imagine gnashing down on iron armour. Ouch. Having said that, look at this. There is a lot of blue. The elite wrestler shakes the goblin swordsman around by the right lower leg and the right hip collapses. An artery in the head has been opened by the attack. An artery in the right lower leg has been opened by the attack. Many nerves have been severed. A ligament has been torn and a tendon has been... Plutonium? Jesus. I mean, good God. Maybe you are the radioactive messiah. Who is this goon? There's a bloody bard standing there watching things unfold. Man, these guys are out... Plutonium's elite. Kubuk's still fighting. It looks like one of our boys has died. I'm only seeing two of the three, but I can't see any dead lads. I don't see any dead lads. Kubuk the Spearman. Plutonium Jesus, apparently wrestler, even though he's an adept hammer dwarf. Oh shit, have I given him an axe? Let's just quickly remember that. I'm just going to head over and check what I've given him. Uh, where is he? PJ. Plutonium Jesus has a... Show me the axe. No, he's got a steel warhammer. So he's good. He's got a legendary steel warhammer. How good is he at wrestling then? Nine. He's a professional wrestler. Capable of getting work in the WWE. He's not even the best wrestler we have. Kabak and Fuzzy Logic. Oh my god, I give all these lads... Oh, I've got my keyboard. That is embarrassing. Let me just head back over to the fortress again, because uh, I'm looking at a different screen to you. So what's happened is, I've made these guys basically train for months on end without any weapons. They've become pretty good at it, and when I've given them weapons, they haven't had enough time to get better at using them than they are at wrestling. So... Essentially, they've grabbed their steel chain leggings, oiled up their upper torsos, and gone all, you know, Vulcanite Rager about it, or whatever they're called these days. Okay, let's keep watching Plutonium Jesus at work. A master of the battlefield. He's fighting three goblins at once. Well, okay. Maybe we bigged him up just a little bit too much. He does appear to be fucking dead. So, let's quickly go to the combat report again. Find him... Is he even in the listings anymore? Here he is. <sighs> Found dead. The Goblin Hammerman bashes the elite wrestler in the head with his iron maul and the injured part explodes into gore. An artery has been opened by the attack. Plutonium Jesus, the elite wrestler, has been found dead. <laughs> Poor old Plutonium Jesus. He will be sad when he gets here. Although I think he'll appreciate the sacrifice he made was necessary. A bold and gallant move. What I don't understand is why this lad, Gingy Ginger, is just faffing around up here. Let me just check to see if he's wounded. How are you doing, Gingy Ginger? Are you wounded? Checking on the health screen in thingamajig. He is currently... Oh, he's missing a leg. That's why he's not moving too fast. Okay. Forgiven, but do get a move on. Peg it, if you will. Oh, you get it? Peg it. That's F in the chat for Plutonium Jesus. Thank you, filthy. 07, indeed. The brave and the kobold. 
Rest in peace, radioactive messiah. We need to give plutonium juice as a proper tune. Thank you, Dwight boy. Proper respect being shown for old PJ. God damn it. In fact, you know what? Here's a proper salute. Bear with me while I type. In the Gospel of Actinide, one of the lesser-known apocrypha, we are treated to an alternative version of the crucifixion story, in which the Nazarene, purely for the lols, transmutes his body into plutonium, thus driving his crucifix far enough into the ground for him to stand comfortably. Cheeky Messiah. There we go. <laughs> That's done that. Right, where were we? Uh, are these our guys, or are these... These are Marks Dwarfs. Wrestlers. Recruits. You're going the wrong fucking way. Get into the fortress. Okay. Um, do we put the order to wall everything in in place now? I feel like we're going to have to. Um, let's go down. Let's go down a few floors. Uh, now the wall is going in here. We're going to pop a wall in here, and we're going to pop a wall in here. Who's this? Who are these boys? Dacos, Swords Dwarf, Sakalo. Bone Crafter and Archimedes, Hammer Dwarf. At least you're doing what you're told, getting down here. Following orders, like a good one. Okay, come on, everybody down. We're unpaused. The Gobos are advancing. We don't have time for this, Rices. You may well be on a crutch, but come on, everybody get down there. Okay, unfortunately, I'm going to have to put the orders in. We have to do it. We can't wait for everybody to get on the right side of the barrier. Some people just aren't moving fast enough and therefore cannot be protected by Armok's blessed touch. So, build, uh, capital C, wall? Oh my god, I remember the command for building a wall. Unbelievable. <laughs> I've been playing for too long. Okay, so, uh, why is that green X there? What is that? That's a wall, that's good. So, we'll put that in there and we're going to build it out of... Seems like native copper blocks are the closest blocks we have. So, we only have one, unfortunately. Is that enough? It is. It only needs one block. Brilliant. Uh, and then, of course, we put another wall in here. Bish, bash, bosh. And that is going to be made out of gold? That's going to be very heavy to haul. But again, it's a lot closer than any others. So bang, we do it. Okay, bingo. There we go. Let's go back up to the surface and just hope that that order gets completed before the goblins get there. And then... We can mine up and join up with the old fortress on the other side of the trap wall. That would be very nice. Ironically, the kobolds in Dwarf Fortress as known as cute bolds to the community. Cute bolds? Are they cute, though? Aren't they little mini dragon peeps? This guy's flashing. Are you not dead? He's definitely dead. <laughs> oh, God. What are they doing? They're desecrating the corpse of Plutonium Jesus. This is an unacceptable war crime. I can't have any of that. What are you doing, Gingy Ginger? Honestly, you're putting yourself in extreme danger. Extreme danger, dude. Oh no, all the scribes are coming down from the bloody library. What a pain in the ass. Right, our military, whatever ragtags are left of the military, are beginning to meet up down here. So, I'm going to pause the game again. I've just realised, in order for this work order to be done, for them to build these walls... I'm going down. Go up, for fuck's sake. In order for them to build these walls, this has to be inside the, the burrow, doesn't it? Which is dangerous. W. Hidey hole. No, what am I doing? No, not V burrow. Hidey hole. Hidey hole. There we go. Hidey hole. That's the one that everyone's in, right? To find the burrow. So, there we go, press enter, and go across two, down, 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 this is going to be a right pain in the ass because it puts everybody back inside the danger zone. It's fine, though. It's fine. We'll have to deal with it. We'll have to deal with it. Boom. Those orders are now connected. So it's presumably they'll all start flooding around here, causing a massive pathing nightmare. 
Is anybody working on those things? Where are the goblins? Ooh, oost, oost, oost. Please, people in the tavern, charge out and fight. You came here to fight monsters, so what are you doing? This doesn't look like monster-based combat. Worried. Look, someone's moving. Someone's going in. Please be going. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Show me, your, show me what your task is. Show me what your task is. Doesn't appear to have one. Why? Can I tell if anyone's been assigned to do the job? Cool, 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 cool. Needs wall, floor, construction. It's gotta happen though. Gotta happen, right? Oh, they've gone past the. Oh shit! No, they haven't gone past the gate. They've gone. Oh, here's me thinking they were going to flood across the bridge, but no. Get in that tavern. Get in that tavern. You're going to be facing a wall of pissed up bards. They're doing it. Yes, the tavern can be our buffer. They may have killed our dogs, but uh, oh, rices and uh, ginger ginger. Now they join the combat. Who's this guy? He looks shady. Shady AF. Asso jaw submerged. Human scholar. That's fine. That's fine. Come on, everybody. Calm. Oh, look at all those trolls. This is a problem. Okay. Oh, no, I don't think they're going to make it. That Who's this? Who's this late in the day? Buckshot Brigade. Here's the true test of your metal. Here is the true test of your metal. Excuse me. Uh, you're a competent armour user. You're not wearing any, but you're a competent armour user. A legendary discipline, legendary observation, grand master fighter, adept wrestler, novice biter, master striker, skilled kicker, expert dodger. I'm guessing not many skills, <laughs> not many seconds of survival here. But maybe, I mean, maybe you will go down with Plutonium Jesus. You see, what happened with Plutonium Jesus? He was knocked down. He was basically writhing in agony, vomiting everywhere on the floor after a very bad wound. And then at the point everyone else was flooding back down to get away from the goblins in order to form a, uh, a last stand, if you will, he pulled himself back up and charged in, wrestling the goblins and killing not an insignificant number of them. I mean, these bodies over here are all from that little last stand. So... You know, he did that. Whereas what happened with you was I said, everybody retreat to the main base. And they did. They went down there, apart from a couple of people who went, uh, 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 and they wandered off down this way. So who have we got? Rices, Buckshot Brigade, and that's not him, Gingy Ginger. So you know what? What we'll do is we'll have a little tinker with the history books after the fact. What we'll do is we'll say, yeah, sure, there were two brave last stands that absorbed the goblin attack up until the point we could wall ourselves in safely. That's what we're going to say. <laughs> Truthfully, it's not really what happened, but okay. Keep fighting, lads. Get in there. You're still alive, Buckshot Brigade. The other lad who had one leg hasn't seemed to have done as well. And Rices is coming up with some some support. Oh, they missed him. Lovely. Well, it... Oh, wait, no, you're still alive. Okay, let's look at some combat logs, because you're doing better than expected. It has to be said. The wrestler Buckshot Brigade Salon on Kim is fighting. Okay, let's go up to the top of the list. We've got nine pages here. It starts good. Okay. The Goblin Sword... Oh, here we go. Uh, the wrestler punches the goblin swordsman in the upper body with his left hand, bruising the muscle and bruising the left lung through the giant cave spider silk cloak. The goblin swordsman is having trouble breathing. The goblin swordsman misses the wrestler. The wrestler charges at the goblin swordsman. The goblin swordsman looks surprised by the ferocity of the wrestler's onslaught. The wrestler collides with the goblin swordsman. The goblin swordsman is knocked over. The goblin swordsman misses the wrestler. The wrestler scratches the goblin swordsman in the head, but the attack is deflected by the goblin swordsman's iron helm. You see, it's that the wrestler has problems with um, the, with the uh, with the armor. But the thing is, <laughs> that's it. You were too pissed up, but now you're so drunk, you've gone into a crazy wrestling frenzy. So that's nice, isn't it? While we're here, let's just quickly pop over to Therapist again and just check. 
Why are you wrestling? <laughs> Why are you wrestling, Buckshot? Let's have a quick read of the skills. Come on. So, Buckshot Brigade. Here you are. Uh, let's look at your military skills. Ah. Well, I think we can see why you're wrestling. You don't have a weapon, and your wrestling skill is level 8. But combine that with level 15 legendary fighting skills and your legendary discipline, and frankly, we've got a recipe for a little bit of uh, happy fun times. And not for goblins. For us, the dwarves. The little folk. Off to the dwarf fortress, and let's see how your skills fare in the really real world. So we're going with a lot of pink. The wrestler releases the joint lock of the wrestler's left upper arm on the goblin mace man's left foot. A joint lock on some one foot. Well, I only gave weapons direct to the people who already had some skills, so... <sighs> some people got left out. I think I did assign skills. I may have assigned, like, um, a, 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 like choose your own weapon. So if you were already pretty good at wrestling, you might have gone, I am my weapon. Uh, maybe with a slightly less florid, melodramatic delivery. Uh, so, Goblin Swordsman. Ooh, Bashes. Tearing the fat. The Silver Morning Star is lodged firmly in the wound. Ooh, ouch. The wrestler punches the Goblin Mace Man in the right ear with his right hand, and the injured part explodes into gore. The force twists the head, tearing apart the skin. The Goblin Hammerman misses the wrestler. Uh, pulls on the embedded Silver Morning Star. The Goblin Maceman gains the possession of the Silver Morning Star. Buckshot Brigade Solomkin Wrestler. I have mastered fighting. I am very satisfied. And that, that is a thing to... I mean, there's your... If, if only you had saved that to the very end when you were actually about to die. Because there's like, what, eight, um, seven, six more pages of this. So, but that is a very cool set of last words. The rest of the punches the goblin mace man, uh, bruises the muscle in the spleen, punches the goblin mace man, blah, 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 tearing. You see, that's the thing. You're getting a lot of hits in, but you're not doing a lot of damage. Where they're not getting many hits in at all, but they're doing a shitload of damage. The goblin bashes the hammerman in the upper body, bruising the muscle, jamming the right false ribs through the liver and tearing the liver. Oh no, a dwarf's most important organ. Uh, goblin swordsman misses the wrestler. The wrestler scratches the goblin hammerman in the lower body, but the attack is deflected by the goblin hammerman's iron mail shirt. Where did that come from? Um, oh, it's goblin. Sorry, the goblin. I, I thought the wrestler had an iron mail shirt, which is crazy. Um, it's getting a bit... There's lots of misses here. The goblin swordsman's having trouble breathing, so we're bruising their lungs. Essentially, you're a one-man Crypbeard's rush. It's uh, pretty crazy. Uh, charges, the wrestler jumps away... Punches the goblin. See, so you're wounding them, but it doesn't look like you've killed a single goblin. Misses, misses, misses. Page seven, page eight. Biting in the. Oh! Oh! The wrestler bites the goblin swordsman in the left eye, tearing the left eyelid skin through the troll fur cloak. Why do they have a troll fur cloak over their eyes? Not sure. But the fact that you've managed to get that level of wrestling finesse where you can get your teeth round somebody's eyeball. Oh, the wrestler latches on firmly. That's got a sting. That's really got a sting. Yet, the wrestler shakes the goblin swordsman around by the left eye, and the left eye collapses, a tendon in the skull has been torn. Mwah, mwah, oh, mwah, magnifique, oh, beautiful. Ah, I cannot bear to imagine the beautiful agony that goblin is feeling. If only it could be an elf. Mm, apologies to any French people there as I coffee, uh, coffee? copy your legendary chefs. Uh, okay, uh, the rest of the grabs the goblin swords, but this is the, this is the first to last page. Hang on, the wrestler punches, left arm, blah blah blah, ligament torn. The goblin lasher misses the wrestler. The goblin swordsman struggles in vain against the grip of the wrestler's left upper arm on the goblin swordsman's second toe right foot. You know what? You are like some kind of fucking like jujitsu master. Well, that's what's happened. I think we're underselling the level of training our wrestlers have gone through because they're fighting fully armoured opponents and basically dancing around them and flinging. I mean, it is only a matter of time until someone gets a hit in. But, I mean, it's going to be quite the story. Tale as old as time, dwarf that's hard as nails, goblins and buckshot. Oh, was that? That was a bone. Someone's lost a bone. It's not you. You're still rocking. 
What does the green exclamation mark mean? Oh, here come some bards. Ah, uh, where are the other goblins going? Come on, come on, where are you going, gobbos? Maybe this... Oh, I think you died. Oh, uh, Buckshot Brigade died. <laughs> okay. Um, how did it happen? No, oh, there was a sudden turn in the tide. Yeah. An iron arrow has lodged firmly in the wound. Oh, dear. Oh, you went into a martial trance. Intriguing. Hey, you bit another goblin in the eyeball before you died, though. I mean, it seems like a thing. It seems like you had a thing going on there. Proper eye biting. Buckshot Brigade's last words, it would appear, were, I have been wounded. No, that's not annoying. Was that sarcasm? Did you die in a fit of passive aggressivity? I wonder. I wonder. The wrestler punches the goblin swordsman in the left foot, but the attack passes right through. Oh my goodness. Got bruised with a slash to the guts, and this seems to be where it got stabbed, bashed, stabbed. Yeah, it didn't go well. Although, it has to be said, you did put up one hell of a fight. Congratulations. You've earned your F in the chat. 07, my son. 07. That's my son? Oh my god, why am I? Some kind of priest? Okay, Rice is 009. What are you doing? What are you doing right now? Charging in? Oh, don't tell me you've been shot. <laughs> that would be suboptimal. Death is all around us. This is truly horrifying. Oh, come on. Get in there. Yeah. Godspeed. Godspeed, my dwarven allies. Hello. We've got a crossbow bloke. What the hell? Oh, Rice's is charging in. Boom. How does he do? There's some blood on the floor. Is it Rice's? Don't know. But he's he's dancing around like a maniac. He appears to be pinned down. This could be... Yeah. yeah. Fatality. Uh, where is he? Let's find Rice's report. There he is. Oh, not nearly as much glory. Holy shit. Rice's. No. He got one bite in. Oh, not too bad, actually. He shook someone around by their leg. Torn ligaments in their right hook. You softened a few boys up. You softened a few boys up, but you didn't really do quite the damage. It's all good, though. It's all good. Nunchaku Chaku just lost an adventurer to a human crossbowman. Well, there seems like there's some synergy between our worlds. A human crossbowman appears to be defending the fortress, partially. Okay. Let's pause the action. We need to check the construction. How is it going? Come on, lads. You built the wall. Oh, they haven't built the wall! Let's check that the burrow goes all the way. Definitely goes all the way. Why have you not built that wall? Build that wall. Build that wall. Build that wall. Build that wall. Maybe it's the incredibly heavy materials I've uh, chosen to build it from. Maybe my just my lads are really slow? It's entirely possible. Well, yeah, your lack of weapons wasn't exactly optimal strategy, as far as I can tell. I don't think the goblins... Oh, if only we could get to the switch, we could flip that damn thing and kill a load of them on the bloody barrier. I mean, all I'm hoping is that they don't realise they can just take a right turn and charge straight down to us. That's the dream. Well, that is the dream. Come on, is anybody coming up here yet? Come on, dwarves. Show me some love here. Let's put the let's put the hidey hole on. Let's just make sure. Oh, there's a big bit of it missing there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There's a pathing bottleneck. Just gotta add that. There we go. Good. That should make things happen a little faster. Maybe. Oh, wait, 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 they can't get to the materials. They can't get to the materials. Uh, are there any blocks in here? Show me. Oh, no, there's no bloody blocks in here. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, W, we're going to add this to Heidi Hole. This whole floor is now going to be part of Heidi Hole, just so that we can get 
some blocks made. There we go. That's good. Wood is light. That's a good point. Let's have we got any wood down here though? That's another good point. Um down down. The up one. Okay, yeah, I know, I know it's a burrow. Stop flashing. You're giving it's making my mind bend. Uh Okay, 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 back to the surface. Back up to where our walls are being constructed. Uh you know what? If we've got enough, I'm going to just build a wooden wall right across there. Um, w, hidey hole. Let's make this whole little room. Good. There we go. Uh, build, capital C, W. And we want to make a wall that goes across all the way here. So, K, 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 K. There we go. Bingo. And we want to make it out of... Maybe just use the granite that's right next to it. Uh, whoa, 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 deselect. Can I sort by distance? So that's distance two. Then the slate is distance two. Distance two. Distance two. Okay, so we're using one more, and so that can be the granite. There we go. That's all vocal materials real close. Ah, oh, it's going to be this shit, isn't it? Oh. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, slate, slate, slate. It's all slate. Cancel, 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 cancel. So, cancel construction. Can we make them do it immediately? Press K and forbid any rocks on the wrong side. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So, uh, do that by clicking here. F, F. Quickly go. Any rocks in here? No, there's no rocks in the column. That's good. Cool. All right, okay, so let's try again. Uh, what we're going to do is say this one, okay, uh, remove, this one remove, and we're going to do it properly. Uh, build, capital C, W, we're going to do a single one there, and we're going to make that out of presumably this slate here, slate. And then we're going to make another one over here out of the slate, presumably on the right side of the wall, right? Good. Good. Thank you, Filthy. Let's hope this works. Resume. Back to the surface. Watch the uh, goblin activity. Hopefully they'll get rid of some of these bloody bards who've been clogging the place up. Oh, this human fighter's not doing too bad. Ah. <laughs> yes, he was. He wasn't doing very well either. Somebody's firing a crossbow, that's good. But now running. Humans. Are they humans? Or are they assholes? Yes! Oh my god, the trolls are flooding into the traps. Into the tavern. Get wrecked in the tavern. There's too many lads in there. Did they kill the... They... Nope, the troll's still alive. Troll's still alive. Let's have a quick look and see how that's working. The human hammerman kicks the troll in the left upper arm with his right foot, bruising the muscles with a large troll fur cloak. Human lasher strikes the troll in the lower body with her iron shield. See, these guys are actually equipped for fighting. <laughs> that's a good sign. Come on, nobody go through these doors. Everybody get distracted by the shit going on here. Fight in the tavern. Charge over here. That's what we want. Charge over the traps. Get captured. If we can capture this entire force, I mean... That's a ton of goblinite and just, you know, happy fun times. Are they bashing these doors in? They are, aren't they? Pausing again. Let's go down. What was that? Was that a goblin in the stairway? It's a fucking goblin in the stairway. Oh no! Mm. 
Oh, fuck. Come on, guys. Get this built. Somebody get up here and do it. The materials are right fucking there. I should enable construction for everybody, shouldn't I? What does it need? Wall floor construction. Well, who can't do that? Hmm. I think now is the time for at least considering prayers. Oh, no! We've had highs and we've had lows already on this that they're going through the doorways now. They're bashing them down. Time to focus attention on the actual place we want them. Oh, no, they're coming in! Build that wall! Please, the, the cage traps can only go so far. Okay, we've got the first one. Oh, pause. How many? How far away are all the dwarves? Is there a dwarf on this floor? You, you, you are definitely coming up to build that wall, right? Come on, Monon. Let's follow him, see what happens. Up, up. You useless fucking dickhead! Excuse me. Excuse me. Just got to calm down for a second here. Right, let's check the burrow. Is there an actual contiguous burrow? Up, 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 up. The orders are in the burrow. We are now entirely dependent on this little smattering of cage traps for our actual fortress to survive. On the tra on the cages. On the cages with you. Get all captured. All of you captured. All of you captured. They're not going to build it in time. They're just not going to build it in time. You know what? S. A. C. C. Move. That's where the military live now. Go. Go, go, go. What are you doing? Who are you? Where are you going? Orchimedes, what is this? Charging out like some kind of madman. Filling his water skin. What's all this about Orchimedes? Why you go that side? I could have sworn someone was going to be doing that job there. Someone came up and stood there and started the work. Construction suspended. Not on your fucking life, it's not. It's you. Come on, somebody get up there and do that job while the goblins are captured. Where are you going, Orchimedes? We don't need more heroes to sacrifice themselves. We don't need another hero. We just want a wall built. To block us off. Just going to check through the combat reports. Oh, Orchimedes is fighting. At least he's a hammer dwarf. But he's punching people. Why is he punching people? Oh no, bashes with the steel wall hammer. He is. He's, he's, he's bashing with the hammer and punching. But he's getting hit. He's just not as fucking good as the others, is he? The hammer dwarf punches the goblin swordsman in the lower front teeth with her right hand, and the severed part fails. <coughs> pardon me, sails off in an arc. It. Ah, uh, I see what's happened. Of course, Orchimedes, you have felt the call of the war and decided to charge in. Well, let's hope that your uh, gallant attacking manages to hold them back just long enough for this fucking wall to get built. Come on. Build the wall, please, build the wall, please, build the wall, please, build the wall. Build the wall, oh, build the wall, oh, build the wall, please, build the, build the, build the wall. Is that what's happening? Is that what's happening? Has the wall been built? Is the wall being built? Come on. Build, 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 build. Build, 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 build. <laughs> Come on! What are you doing? He's not building, he's just stationed. 
Yeah, just let the guy run through here. How did he get through the goblins? Oh no! One, two, three, four, five. We've got five traps left and a clear path through the traps. Okay, it's a solo goblin versus multiple dwarves. What the hell? Oh, the guy's charged in. Okay. Where are you going? Who was that? Why are you charging up the stairs? Eshdam. Not a namey, but still. I'm just going to check the... Um... What's that? Uh, wait, so do we all have one of those? Everybody had, well, you didn't have any weapons, but you were already a super skilled wrestler, so maybe you didn't pick your weapon up. But I'm pretty sure I had told your lad to get one. Again, he must have decided, I am the weapon, and I do not require another weapon. Uh, so let's go back to the squad. A, C, move. Yeah, again, another epic episode, an hour and 40 minutes long, yet solely focused on this uh, this raid. Solely focused. What are you two doing? No, fuzzy, fuzzy. Fuzzy, 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 fuzzy. The elite wrestler hacks the goblin swordsman in the left upper leg with his Shosella cast lek tathtat, fracturing the bone through the giant cave spider silk cloak. Well, at least he's using his legendary hammer. Maybe we have a good chance. If we can just hold this corridor on the traps, then we might be able to succeed. But for God's sake, get those walls built, boys. Get those walls built. Wait, here's a mechanic. Oh, this is it. This is it. Uh, military retreat. I want you to come down to this room here. Um, S, A, C, move. And we move down to this floor here. We go back up to here to watch the building getting done. Ah, they're hearing goblins on the stairway and charging in. That's what's happening. This guy's not doing well. Kivish appears to be wounded. That's why he's sitting there. One of the walls is done. Farmer, grab that stone. This is it. You could be the man who saves us. This is the person who saves the fortress. Who is that man? Give him a medal. It's Stukos Asob Kilrud, the planter. Come on. Boom! Okay, so do we have any dwarves on the other side of the wall? Yes, we have this poor sod, probably bleeding out. Um, anyone up here? Ah, dead. Who is it? Orchimedes. And Burr Noble Source. Oh, Noble Seduces, sorry. I apologise. Ah, oh, hello, Fuzzy Logic. Uh, I'm not sure if you're alive, Fuzzy. It has to be said, but um, if you did die, you died a gallant, valiant death defending the fortress. Defend the fortress, defend the fortress, defend the fortress, defend the fort. Who is this madman? Fuzzy's not dead. Fuzzy ain't dead. Wait a minute. Hang on. Oh, look at those traps all full. Look at all the dead trolls. There appear to be no goblins in the fortress anymore, just trolls. Could they be fleeing? Could the wall have been built unnecessarily due to Fuzzy Logic's uncontrollable fury? Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look at those notifications. Where's Fuzzy again? Come on, Fuzzy, where are you? There he is. Ten pages. The elite wrestler hacks the troll in the head with his shlaw, and the severed part sails off in an arc. Wow. I mean, I don't want to put too fine a point on this, but he's using a hammer. If you're good enough to sever a head with a hammer, then you're doing pretty good. Look at all that blue. Look at all that blue. Come on. Every red, let it be a mist. The troll strikes at the elite wrestler, but the shot is deftly parried by Shoselokast Lichtethat. God, I wish these things had easier names to say. The troll looks sick. The troll misses. Troll, troll, troll. Fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. <laughs> fuzzy logic. I was attacked. You will know my ferocity. And know your ferocity they did. Because, uh, although, having said that, you did run into a softened 
a softened front. But still, I mean, definitely going down in legend. I, I better check the wounds, actually. Are you wounded? Are you wounded, Fuzzy? Let's go over to the therapist and just check the current... Hello, check the current state of the battle. Those of you watching on YouTube, I will be stopping soon. As soon as I know this is in control, I'll be stopping, because it's nearly a two-hour video. For fuck's sake. Uh, so, we had seven in the laborious castles and eight in the banded lanterns. A tent look. Oh, uh... Four left in the laborious castles, only fuzzy logic left of the named, and the banded lantern still has seven of their number, even though they're shit. I can... I think I can smell... Cowardice. Where were you? Where were you? You bastards. Well, Fuzzy, how have you done? Well, you've got your axe skill and your hammer skill on parity now, and you've killed... An elf, a forgotten beast, two trolls, and another elf. Okay. Okay. Vehemut, is my goblin bard still around? Hmm. Good question. Uh, let's sort by... Uh, what is it? Uh, shit, my brain. Has nickname. There we go. Sort by whether or not people have a nickname. Uh, Anubis is alive, Belug, Blade, Diedrake, Fetacroll, Filthy, Fuzzy Logic, Itigawa, Johnny Five, Clay Cree, Liquid Samurai, Lanisserus, Firehawk, Rando 303, Sabata, Sanctum, Science, Singor, Sakalo, Sol, and Vehemut. <laughs> You're still very much with us. Still very much alive. Of course, many of us, or many of us, I see many of the namies in chat have died. Looking at it though, didn't we have 26 namies? Which means only four have popped their clogs, bought the farm, etc. Other euphemisms for death. So. We had 150 something, and we're down to 140 adults, so. Hmm. Things not going too bad. Things not going too bad. It was a successful repel, although not by plan. <laughs> I feel like that was just. Oh, I was going to check to see if Fuzzy was wounded, wasn't I? Let's do that quickly. Uh, I'll just go over to the health thing. Fuzzy Logic currently. Bruised left foot, bruised right lower arm, bruised right lower leg, and bruised right upper leg. And he's got his left ankle smashed apart, and he can't stand up. Shit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Unbelievable. It's not repelled yet. The trolls occupy the, the top floor. Okay, well, we can deal with those boys. We can deal with them. Or can we? That's the question. That is the question. We've got, what, one, two, three, four trolls here. You know what? I think we can unwall. Oh no! Fuzzy! Oh no, he's moved. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was dead. No, he's, I, 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 I thought due to his immobility that he couldn't go anywhere. But it turns out he doesn't care if he's got a smashed ankle. He's going to chase that troll and he's going to kill the bastard. Is it just me or are these trolls now just partying? Well, I don't. I don't mind if they sack the inn. No, very few citizens in the inn. In fact, we did have a problem with far too many bards turning up. So maybe, just maybe, this is the actual best, best possible outcome. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. Okay. Where are the goblins? We've got any goblins left? It looks like the main force of goblins have left, and only the trolls remain. Then again. I would be keen to see how these traps are faring. What have we got in here? Goblin, goblin, troll, troll. Troll, large cave spider silk. Oh dear. Troll, 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 troll. Oh, we didn't catch any goblins. I'm very disappointed. Oh, there's a spear dwarf mocking around. Avas, good boy. Get down, kill that troll. That doesn't look like you're killing a troll. That looks like you're running away from a troll. Avas! I must withdraw. I must withdraw. I must withdraw. No, no, no. Avars, come on. Fuzzy's heading desperately out of the fortress now, dragging himself on that shattered ankle, just thirsting for troll blood. Must increase KDR. Although, having said that, he's got a positive kill-death ratio, so I don't know how he would really seek to improve that, to be honest. I mean, positive's good, isn't it? Party trolls... Oh my god, hang on a minute. 
Are the go did the goblins get past the cage traps? They can't have got past the cage traps, right? And who's this boik? Lickop the wrestler. What are our military lads up to here? We've got four or so trolls remaining. Hopefully they're going to get jacked. Got some marks dwarves charging. Oh, look at him! He just piled in. Did not give a shit. Did he kill the troll? I think he did. Lickop charged in and just killed some trolls. Can we deconstruct the walls? I'm just checking up at the temples. Everything's still good up here. Graveyard's still good. Library's still good. Okay, so the death toll wasn't fantastic. However, you know what? It wasn't apocalyptic either. We did essentially repel the... What the hell is this? Goblin what now? Artist. Uh, okay, yeah. Oh, did we miss an attack? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Fuzzy's on a fucking frenzy. You know what? Military screen. I'm going to give you a chance to do something crazy, Fuzzy. This could be nuts, but uh, let's look at the laborious castles. Let's find Fuzzy Logic, and we will say, K okay, attack this troll, if you can get there in time. You know what? Let's kill one of the ones in here. Oh. Doesn't look like there are many trolls left. I think this guy's going to finish that one off quicker than you can. So have a look. Fight, 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 fight. He appears to be dancing around it. There's bones flying around. That's good. Good sign. And the troll is dead. Hello. Have we regained full control of the fortress? My goodness. I think we did it. We've only gone and fucking done it. Victory! Uh, let's quickly look at the invaders screen, just to be sure. Are there others? 128? Oh. Ah, what? Oh, these are elves that fell down the pit and broke their legs and never escaped and I couldn't be bothered to clear them out. That's why they're still invaders. Beautiful! Beautiful! We have repelled the goblins! And now, just let's pause for a second. There we go. Whew. Now, uh, at 1 hour and 52 minutes, this episode is one of the longer ones. Can't really, can't really say anything other than that. Those of you watching on YouTube, thank you very much for doing so. It's been a pleasure recording for you, and I'll see you in the next one. Episode 35.